Hey there, scrappy friend. Suzanne here in the studio today, inviting you to have a wild berry blast with me. In April, there was a special on the wild berry blast paper pack and sticker sheet, along with they had coordinating cardstock, embellishments, including a six by 12 chipboard sheet. So it was very, very wild berry. Let me show you what I've done with those products, okay? Alrighty. First, let's start out with this. This started out as a very monochromatic layout, but then I decided to punch it up with black and a little more white. As you can see, on this side, I have pulled back this corner of the paper and I have actually put some thin 3D foam tape right under the fold in order to keep it that dimension nice and um, nice and high. It's really a nice feature of the page. And then I have put photo mats over and slightly under the fold. And then I have done a visual triangle of embellishments where I've punched circles in order to give a little more oomph to the smaller round stickers off the sticker sheet and to draw attention to my title. Moving to this page, you can see I cut this corner out of that same paper in order to make it look like this comes all the way across even though the fold back ends here. On this side, we have a block design with a four by six and a four by four. And the fun thing about block designs is that it's fun to actually break the boundaries. So here, this card, you are amazing, wonderful, adorable, lovable, sweet, and perfectly incredible just the way you are. Isn't that a great sticker? That sort of becomes the way to break the barrier, adding a little something extra. I've also done a couple of pieces of the plaid or gingham paper. I guess I said gingham. Yes, paper on the diagonal and some white pieces, white strips, to sort of square it back up. So we've got stuff going on here, but still, we still get the idea that it is a solid block with some fun items all around the edge. So there, that's very berry, wouldn't you agree? My next layout is based on a old sketch shown on the Close to My Heart blog. If you aren't already subscribed to their blog and visiting it regularly, I really urge you to do so. There are lots of great ideas and I especially love when they share sketches. So here's one in which I copied. Basically they're using two and three quarter by five inch blocks of paper and photos and going all the way across both pages. This starts out here with two zip strips bordering this is actually two zip strips in the middle but i carefully overlapped it so that it, the pattern matched up so it, it appears to be one piece of paper when it really is just the zip strips this reach and the 2022 were extras i had um, left over from a prior project the calendar from this year the calendar kit of layouts so that's kind of, I did reach for the stars. There are quite a few star stickers on the sticker sheet, as well as some miscellaneous stickers, which I've lined up five here in a row. So at first you kind of glance over those so they're not too distracting, but you will eventually come back and key in on those and it's a nice detail. Down here, I have used three banners, not as banners, but as little journaling blocks. And then over here, we've used some chipboard, both the stars and these banners up here, and this two and a half by two and a half inch chipboard frame. So again, it's another something to kind of break up the pattern a little bit, but it's because it's tone on tone, it's not too much in your face. I think this turned out really cute. I can't wait to add pictures to this because I think they're really gonna pop off out of that wild berry background. Okay, did I mention that um, some of these stickers are uh, UV coated? So we've got a little tone on tone going there. Let me see if the camera can pick that up. I think it can. 
like I said, there was also some coordinating cardstock, which I did not get, and it has some UV coating and some foil on it, I believe, too, and I believe that's still available. Okay, at this point, I still had a piece and a half of this paper left. And since Wildberry was also going to coordinate with the Cake Day Scrapbooking Workshop, I went ahead and I cut the papers for all of the layouts in the Cake Day, and I ended up with a about a page and a half of this birthday paper. So let me show you how I combine these two things and all of the extra scraps from the Cake Day Scrapbooking Workshop to make this layout. Here we go. Isn't this fun? As you can see, I've got equal amounts of paper here and here of this middle pattern, and then the rest is the larger. And it turns out that this is a, this paper, this short paper is on top of this full page, and then this, this short paper is on top of this full page. But you can't really tell that if I don't point it out, can you? Okay, and then we have across the top, I did some stamping using the scrapbooking Cake Day Scrapbooking um, Stamp and Thin Cuts. I actually won this set by leaving a comment during Jeanette's birthday celebration on the blog, and then close to my heart sent it to me free. I was one of the winners. Yet another reason you should be subscribed to the Close to My Heart blog and checking out what's going on there. Not only inspiration, but goodies too. Okay, what have I done here? Well, I've used all three of my zip strips that I had left over. This is a piece of the uh, workshop exclusive for cake day. And then basically I have three and a quarter by four and a quarter photo bats going across the page. And then on each side, I use some more of that birthday paper text as my extra card. And here it is decorated with the birthday bash, and over here it's just got little bits and bobs on it. I also punched some additional stars out of the scraps I had of the other two colors. Okay, in order to get this, let me show you the few changes I made to the Cake Date Scrapbooking Workshop cutting directions, okay? Here we go. These are really cute projects. Like I said, I haven't put all of these together, so I did not know how many of the sticker sheet I would have left over. But as you can see, with a few punches and then just using the stickers from my Wildberry Blast, I had more than enough to decorate this layout that I just showed you. Okay, cutting directions. Let me show you. Here is the first one. On this happy paper that's got the various designs on the other side instead of doing three three by three by threes here i actually did this cut first at six and a half and then i came in and cut here at six and a half that way it left me with a bigger block of paper here okay then on the wild berry here and this is pretty obvious you have one 12 inch strip and one 11 inch strip I went ahead and got my little pieces from the 11th inch strip because then I would have two identical uh, 1 inch by 12 inch strips that I could use for something else. In a similar fashion here, normally I would like this nice long piece, but I was going to want to get some photo mats out of here and I wasn't going to be able to get two 3 and a quarter by 4 and a quarter unless as my second cut I just came down here and did the 4 and a quarter across. And then from here, I was able to get what I needed. And then once you've done this across, you can get your little pieces there. So that was no problem at all. Okay, in fact, you could probably get these from up here. So I could probably have just cut this at three and a quarter by three and a quarter now that I look at it. Ah, geometry. Sometimes it's hard to think that all the way through, isn't it? Okay, is that it? Okay, F page four. No, here I also went up here. But I don't think this made any difference. There was so much glacier left here. I think there was plenty, so it didn't, it didn't end up being a problem. 
The other thing I would point out, I'm pretty sure that on the black card stock, six and a half by four and a quarter is not correct. It should be six and a quarter by four and a quarter. Those are just two photo mats. And so you want the quarter inch dimension to be both length and width. Okay, I hope you find that helpful. I hope you're tempted to get some wild berry products because they're only going to be available while supplies last. This is a retiring color of the year. It will be gone August 1st for sure. I think it's a really fun color to work with. So, okay, that's all I have for today. I hope you'll check back here soon to see what else I am up to. And don't forget to check out the Close to My Heart blog as well. If you have time, I'd appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe. See you soon. Bye.